Well, it was 10 years ago when Montana This Morning hosted its very first breast cancer survivor's breakfast. It all started out as a vision and has blossomed into a tradition. Now, I had a chance to catch up with the person who started it all and take a look back. Welcome back to Montana This Morning. Now, today is Survivor Day here on Montana This Morning. We're among a crowd of some very brave women. I just want to give you guys a round of applause. We knew we wanted to do something for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but there was we wanted to take it to another level and really just have something where these women and these families who have gone through so much, they could just come together on a day. You're going to have to wake up a little bit early. That's the only caveat there. Uh, and just hang out and have some fun and talk to each other and share their stories and just create a sense of community. Now 10 years since the first breast cancer survivors breakfast, it has become just that. I never in a million years would have dreamed it would turn it would have turned into something like this. Hey, we got a lot of pink, we've got a lot of uh, survivors and we got a lot of special guests here today. With her heart behind a good cause, there was some anticipation building up to the big day. It was just amazing to see as the morning kind of progressed and just seeing all these different faces and how excited they were. Those faces are the reason why she decided to dedicate the morning to breast cancer survivors. There was so many people that were affected by this and it the treatment is so rough and some people, they would battle through it. Others, they weren't so lucky. But the attitudes that they have, and it's such an intimate disease too, their resilience and their strength and their positivity, it completely affected me. It's really great to be a part of a community that is so behind a cause like this. Now miles away in California, through the distance and time, she'd like to see the Survivor's Breakfast around for another 10 years. I have worked in each city that I've been in to try to get Pink Week going. We got a little bit of traction, but nothing like what's happening in Billings. And it's, it's just truly incredible to see. Billings will always have a special place in my heart. And I love to see the fact that this is still going.